Woods 7500 backhoe cylinder removal. You have to clamp the end in a vise. It grabs a hold of that gland and holds it. If you don't have it right, this will not come out. It just spins on the gland. I'll show you here it comes out. And it can be aggravating. And it's still not tight enough because it doesn't take that much pressure to get it loose. The first one was easy. This one is not cooperating. It's coming loose now. Fine. All that trouble, if you don't have it right, it is not coming off. Okay, after you back that off, then this part's not as bad.
set it in your vise and just clamp it where it will hold it. Then I've got to get a screwdriver. Okay, for this part, this section right here has to be knocked in just a little bit. Don't go in too far. There's an O-ring right there, or a circle ring, however you want to call it. After you get that knocked in, take your screwdrivers and your pick. Find the end of it. Mine's at the bottom. But that doesn't tell you where yours will be. It will be anywhere it's going to be. This can be easy and it can be a pain. I'm going to have to knock that in just a little bit more. But you knock it in too far then you can't get it back out all right I've got it started finally and this they the seal kit I got from Kubota this is a new A new ring right here also get it out pops out just like that right there now all this slides out just like this right here you will have a little fluid come out and mine is water it got water in it sitting here There it is. This is the part that you're clamping on to hold it for keep it from moving.